I really think, really have to think of what my favorite game of all time is. Well, what do you, what is your favorite game? Uh, each and every one of you, both in, in the video, the vlog, and the watchers, commenters, be sure to post up your favorite, the name of your favorite game. I, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the retro games. I'm a retro gamer. That's, that's what I am. I have a Dreamcast for that reason. I think I might as well tell you the story of the Dreamcast. <clears throat> I was out with a couple of buddies of mine. Uh, Kevin our, and our friends uh, Sheeta and Juliana. And we were out, um, we went to Value Village and where Kevin found a PlayStation 1. And he asked me if, if I wanted to go half these on it. You know, he paid 50%, I paid 50%. We decided not to because I, I feel that the PlayStation 1, I, I could play those games on the PlayStation 3. That's completely fine. And well, at least the most worthwhile games you can find on the PlayStation Network. And that was fine for me. So what we decided to go, we went to the local flea market, Dixie Mall. And we went to the kind of the very vintage game section which I found a Dreamcast and I said to Kev hey let's, let's go buy this freaking Dreamcast and we both, both went half season on it it's a $60 system bought it for $30 half he said that he thought I was gonna have buyer's guilt never you never I love that thing it's a hunk of junk that I love so much Dreamcast it is a very famous game system because it failed so hard a little history on this. Um, the Dreamcast failed <clears throat> mostly because, it, well, it's controller for one point. It, it's a crappy controller. You can probably see it in my past videos. Uh, but also, the Dreamcast failed because right out of the box, you can take the games from the internet, put them onto a blank disc, and it's completely free. And luckily, we found one of the oldest models and all the games are pretty much free. Got them on CDs. Sonic Adventure 2, Street Fighter 3. Really good stuff. Like, that's why I love like, video games. Is that you can, you and your friend can have just this random collection of video games. And then they're great games because you love them. And you decide you want your friend to play them. It's just this mutual sense of sharing. That's what I love about being a retro gamer, because not a lot of these people, well, not my friends, uh, get to play these games. My girlfriend and I have those type of days when we just play video games and just have fun. And the summer has been sort of coming by, and we're, we've both been very busy, and you know, I miss her all hell. Video games are really great. Really great just to share with people. They're really fun. You know, I, I play them all the time. And I have a lot of time this summer, right? So, bye, collective. Um, Kevin, I can't wait to hear your crazy. I loved your ping pong review. Or pong review, sorry, not ping pong. Goodbye, collective.